Welcome back to Beginner's Guide for Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we're working on advanced productions. We are now in March, which means we're able to plant our sugar cane. Uh, I didn't make as much money in the meantime as I had hoped because I was only able to harvest the grass once and we're making milk pretty slow, so I have not uh, even sold milk yet. So I think what we're going to do first is I'm going to collect the milk from the cows. And then we'll um, see about going to get the planter. I think what we're going to do, since we don't have as much money as I anticipated is I think we're going to rent the planter uh, single row two row let's see how much would you be to lease the two row would be better 4,000 so we can afford to lease it where it's 85,000 to buy and then we wanted to build we don't need to build it right now because we don't need it until we harvest but i wanted to build that sugar factory this guy yes haha -ha, look at me click on it right away so we're gonna need eighty thousand when we harvest i'm just trying to get an idea of how much space because we're gonna plant this and then maybe some of this Maybe we'll plant grass in this one. Because I don't know how much sugar we're going to... I don't know what the yield is either. Okay. So, I guess if we... If we go like that direction with it. And we cut off... Maybe halfway down this field. Maybe not quite halfway. Let's see. This is going to cost me money to do... But what we're going to do is, well, first let's turn on, I know I'm so organized. We're going to turn on zone markers so we can see exactly where we need to drive around this thing. Because that'll give us a better idea of how much space we need. Okay, so we input on one side, get them out on the other. So probably go this way we can go fairly snug over here. So I want to go, I've got an idea, we're going to go about painting grass about to where this bush is. And we will just split this field down. Oop. This is probably costing us an arm and a leg to do. Okay, just want to paint that so that we know... And then we'll go a little wider just for shoots and giggles because I want to put a fence or a hedge line or something and bring it in off the main road so it's not actually like part of our farmyard. So let's go to like there. We'll just have a little bit of sugar on this side. Sorry, we messed it up just a little bit. Can we straighten that out? Just be careful about it. I don't want to bump because I want it to be straight. Come on. Straight narrow. Nice straight lines. Okay. Yes. So we'll we'll plant all of this with sugar. Once we do that, but let's grab Where are you bogging down? You're fine. All right, grab this. Let's dump this water in for the cows. I think they've got room to take it. If not, I believe the greenhouse does. Let's see if they got room for all of this. Pop up. Maybe. Do they not have room? Did I already fill the cows up? They are full of water, okay. So, how about the greenhouse? Because we're going to need to get rid of the water that's in this tanker before we can put milk in it. And we don't even have a full tanker worth of milk. I think we had, what was it, 5,000 liters? 
4,296 liters. But we will go sell that anyway at our dairy. Not our dairy, but the dairy. Let's see. We take all of it. You won't. How can I get rid of this? Oh, you know what? Let's do that later. We'll sell the milk later. That'll give the greenhouse and the cows time to use up the water that they already have. And then we can get rid of the water. And then we can fill it with milk and sell it. So in the meantime, I'm going to run to the store so we can get the stuff we're going to need to plant the sugar cane. So I'll see you at the store. All right, we've made it to the store. So I think all that we need is to lease this. Details, nothing we can change on it. So we will just lease it. What is the, can hold 9,440 liters. So let's lease that. And then if we go into pallets, there's sugar cane, that's 2,000 liters. So can we get, I guess we could get up to five, but I don't know. Let's get one for now, because I do not know how far 2,000 liters will go. And they're fairly cheap, $380 a crate. But if we only need one, then there's no sense buying the others, especially since we're leasing the planter. Oh, you know, I didn't look to see. Let me look real quick. This 200 horsepower, what is our tractor? 171, yeah, hopefully it'll work. It's semi-close. We might be a little slow. It's not super far off. I don't think we can upgrade this tractor at all. We don't have the money to buy a new tractor. Oh, we can do fertilizer too, good to know. So, do I need to open it? I can open it. It might be for fertilizer. We should potentially just need to get it somewhere near this guy. Maybe in the back. No. Maybe on the side. That tank there. Oh. I keep thinking that it's going to pop up, but it doesn't pop up in standard. My bad. Okay. We actually got to open it to see. Okay, so that fills that bit. So let's then get a thing of fertilizer as well. Not you, you. Not you. You. Get one bag of fertilizer. Let's see how well this goes. Just kind of back up near it. Do, 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 do. Refill from there. Why don't we? That should be going in that front. Yep. Okay. Oh, that looks like it's 69% full of fertilizer and 24% full of sugar cane. Okay, so we've got a lower, we've got open cover unload unfold so there is an unfold option all right so i will get this back to the farm i'll meet you over there okay let's start on a little bit and that'll be our experiment let's go ahead and unfold okay that brings that up and then v turns it on v Lowers it down, and oh, it appears to be working. That appears to be work. I figured it would be in rows, kind of like how the uh, the new row crops look when you plant them. All right, so let's lift that up, let's pull off the field, and then I just want to take a look at the map, make sure everything looks right with that. Before we go any further. Okay, so it definitely looks planted. Oh, we maybe didn't quite get that corner. And that is indeed sugarcane. It is growing. Let's get rid of the mulched. 
It is fertilized. It does not need rolling. Okay, that's interesting to know. I also don't know what weeds are going to do as far as if sugarcane gets weeds. I assume it probably does, but like grass doesn't get weeds. Let's just pull this through the very end there. All right, well, if that's the case, we can do headlands. And I will go ahead and get these planted, and then I'll talk to you once they're planted. See you in a few minutes. Okay, it looks like I got that whole square, so that's good. Um, oh, no, we want to lift you, close you. That took most of that pallet of seeds, I guess, seeds or seedlings or whatever that is supposed to be. Our input item um, for the small square. So I think if we get... Oh, three, three to four. I guess if we get four and we had it left over, we should be able to unload it at the end. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get four more pallets of sugar cane for planting. And then I think we're also going to lease a larger tractor because this one's struggling to, I mean, it's working, but it's struggling and we have the money to lease it so we're gonna help ourselves out and lease a bigger tractor that'll make the job easier so we we could probably drop this about yay why not we'll go park our tractor over here because we'll use this to get back to our farm later when we drop off the lease tractor Let's buy the sugar cane first, because that's the important part. So, sugar cane... I guess I just gotta buy it. Buy. Yes. Okay. Buy. Yes. Okay. Buy. Yes. Okay. We'll do four. That way we have... No, we have more than enough. And then... Tractors. Medium. We need something with 200 plus, right? Uh, 200 is the recommended so if we go something just a little over that it's got a base of 200 getting closer oh there we go the Valtra Valtra let's see if we can afford to lease this we should be able to front mounting we don't need that front weight probably wouldn't hurt because that probably wouldn't hurt because the four pallets might be pretty heavy on the back the engine setup I want to get the first CVT just so it's smooth wheels don't really matter as much we can go standard everything else can be standard because we're just renting it um, yeah, because we can't go with, like, a wide tires on here, can we? Has anything got wide tires as standard? 
No, it's all going to be more expensive. We can just go with this. This is fine. So what is this to lease? It's 190000 if we were to buy it. It is 9000 to lease it, but it is going to make our lives a lot easier. And we're going to return it today. So, yes, we are going to lease this. Money comes and money goes, right? So, let me get this hooked up, loaded up. I think this will function a lot better. It'll be smoother and quicker because we should be able to run at full speed of whatever this cedar can go instead of barely being able to drag it. That's backwards. Let's go forwards. Yeah, even just driving it like this, I can tell it's going to be a lot quicker. So I'll load up these seeds, head back over there, and then I will plant the large field. And I will see you when I get done planting that. that should be that just want to check the map make sure we didn't miss any spots it looks good there was a tiny dot over here it looked like it was a different texture from a distance um that's why i went over there and hit that that looks good looks like we've covered the whole thing i don't see anything weird the whole thing looks covered with sugarcane okay yeah i don't think we missed any spots i like to check the map especially when the textures are close like they just were um so i unfold this i guess i needed about half as much stuff as i thought i did so let's bring this over here near our barn actually we'll bring it over just gonna backwards drive everywhere Bring it over here down near our basement because the basement on this barn you can open up and store stuff in so if i hit control and i i should be able to unload yep so we have oh it just turned into regular seed yep so that's just regular seeds now instead of whatever so we have a whole bunch of seed and some fertilizer for going forward we can close that I will go return these and then we'll see about selling that 
cow's milk. Um, I think the large tractor was definitely the way to go. That was way easier doing the big one than it was doing the small one with the, our regular tractor. I think that means we need to upgrade at some point. Uh, if I go through several months, uh, it'll probably be a while. We'll up, I would upgrade once we start actually making the cakes because we still have several things to buy. We've got to buy the factory for processing that sugar cane into sugar. We've got to buy the dairy to process our milk into butter. And then once I had both of those, then once we started making profit after that, we would potentially use that to uh, buy a new tractor. Because ours is mostly sufficient. So I'll go ahead and return these under the key. Return. I wish you got money back. Doesn't matter. We don't need them anymore. We're good. There's nothing really good in here that we need to buy. Okay. So, I'll meet you back at the farm. And we'll see about selling this milk. If I need to. Because that actually didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. So... Yeah, they're full of water. Our production is also still full of water. So I'll probably fast forward time a little bit until something needs water. So I can get the water out of that tank. And then we'll uh, fill it with milk. So I will see you when we're ready for milk. You know what? Instead of all that, let's just go to bed and we'll do the milk tomorrow. I don't think we have anything else to do today. Because that is all set. I can't believe it doesn't need to be rolled. I'm just so used to everything needing rolling that it's kind of mind-boggling. So everything is growing. All our fields look good. That could use fertilizer next time, I guess. Because it's got one level of fertilizer. So we can fertilize it again next time. But yeah, that's it. So let's go to bed. Then we can fertilize. We'll see if those grow weeds. Um, actually, we could probably look at it right now and see if it's going to grow weeds. Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's go to bed. We'll wake up tomorrow. And then we can sell our milk and finish getting that field ready to just grow. Because then we won't... Once we... Make sure it doesn't have weeds. Yeah, it doesn't have weeds. Now the other question is, do I need narrow tires? We're going to drive across the corner, see if we need narrow tires on it. But let's do the milk first, because now we should be able to get rid of this water. And boop. Now let's start the engine first, yeah. 4%, but we can put that 4% in the greenhouse. getting a decent amount of eggs again I think we're almost full of eggs yep okay good water is gone how are we looking for eggs yeah we could use another maybe 2,000 liters of eggs our strawberries are selling so that should just be making us money nothing else is running cows need a little bit of food oh they've got a decent amount of milk now so that'll be good so I will go get the milk, and then we'll go to the dairy and sell our milk, see what we get, because I think this is an 8,000 liter tank, so it'll be three quarters of the way full, or so, so that's this icon over here, we gotta try to get the back of this near that icon, should be right there, start filling, beautiful. 72% close to close to three quarters of the way full All right, so we're gonna head to the dairy We're doing the dairy because we're gonna buy the dairy. It's not necessarily the best price right now We got bakery is ours, so we wouldn't actually be selling it dairy And then Johnson's farmers market will pay a little more, but we're gonna put it in the dairy that way we can double dip on it 
but we'll tag the place. It's over in this corner over here, in this little town. So we're just gonna drive over there and unload it. I'll meet you over at the dairy. Okay, so we should be able to just pull right into this. We get the tail, yep, and then we have an eye. And our money's going up. Let's see how much we make off of three quarters of a tank. A couple grand. We made $11,833 off of that, so that's pretty good. Can we pull through? Which way is a good way to get out? We'll go that way. So that's pretty good. Um, as we get more cows, because we've got, what, 10 cows right now? Five and five. So then these ones are just a few months off of having babies. And I think that'll fill our thing, because I think 15 is what it can hold. So then we'll be maxed out. And then once they're all of age to be making milk, we should make milk a decent bit quicker. Um, yeah, so that's really it for now. What we'll do is I will continue to take care of the farm. We'll keep our chickens fed. Probably gonna just keep having, no. We do have chicken feed stored, don't we? I was gonna say buy chicken feed, but I don't think we do. We, yeah, I have at least a few months of sorghum left. And then when do we harvest the wheat? Right, cause that's what I planted. I don't remember where, I think that's what I planted. And 49 was wheat. Yes, wheat gets harvested in three months. Yeah, so the sorghum that we have should keep the chickens through till July, and then we'll have the wheat to feed them, and that'll give us more straw. So we can start mixing straw in with our TMR to save on the grass. And grass should be close to harvesting. Yeah, I think next month I'll be able to harvest that again. And then when do we harvest the stuff we just planted? Not until October. Okay, so between now and next episode, I will continue maintaining the farm until October, uh, feeding the cows, feeding the chickens, keeping the greenhouse topped up with water. Um, I'm gonna bring the eggs over to the bakery until that's full. Actually, it might be full right about the time you come back. If it gets full beforehand, I'm just going to sell eggs once I get full pallets. And then I will bring you back for harvesting the sugar cane. And hopefully between silage and milk and eggs and strawberries between now and then, hopefully we'll be able to afford to buy both the dairy and the sugar cane factory so we can process our stuff and have our final inputs but yeah things are going well we planted sugarcane oh that was the other thing i wanted to do well, let me just check down here and see if there's anything special about sugarcane that they tell us that we don't already know differs from typical field and root crops needs more time to mature but it re oh it regrows after harvesting that's cool needs special sowing and harvesting equipment for sugarcane does it show on here it regrowing uh sugarcane it only shows one harvest season but does that mean that we don't have to plant it every year it just we just harvest in october and november it does it only happen once that'll be something interesting to find out we need a billet planter machines can be filled with sugarcane from the last harvest oh so we can use our own sugarcane stock 
to replant sugarcane when we need to with a tipper trailer use a telehandle wheel loader to fill it start plant sugarcane even without sugarcane stocks simply purchase a pallet of sugarcane in the shop that's what we did this time it grows comparably slow but harvested sugarcane will grow back after a while and can be harvested again just once though or is that like an every season thing you'll need the sugarcane harvester it removes top level removes the top leaves and cuts the thick sugarcane stalks into small compact pieces just like forage harvesters sugarcane harvesters do not have their own tank and these need to be accompanied with a tipper trailer in the field what i'm hoping is i think that one harvester that we were looking at renting I believe this no that is a pull behind oh but it does have a rear hitch so that sugarcane trailer that i bought on sale hopefully we can hook to this and pull the whole thing as one unit we don't need two tractors because that's difficult in single player not impossible but pretty difficult the way to do it would be to get the harvester going with a helper and then you take the trailer alongside but if we can do it all at once we're going to do it that way do to do to do, do during harvest specialized sugarcane tipper trailers are commonly used as they have higher tip height allowing them to tip the sugarcane stalks directly into a truck to guarantee a quick transport sugarcane cannot be stored in silos however it can be tipped anywhere on the ground and stored there oh neat you can process it further in your sugar mill, which can be placed in build mode. As sugarcane regrows, tillage is nearly unnecessary. If you play with periodic plowing required, the ground must be aerated after three harvest to secure a full year yield. Okay, I think we do have that turned on. Uh, that's the next one. Right. Periodic plowing required. Oh, I've got it off right now, but we could turn it on. We'll turn it on and then that way it's along that we would get three harvests and then we'd have to cultivate again um and the the thing that we have for cultivating the boy i'm blinking on the name of it what are you called subsoiler the subsoiler we have um works instead of a plow and it's a little easier to function I think I always feel because the plows are all offset to the side. Uh, we don't have one. So the plows are offset to the side. Like when you're towing it. And it's easier to see on the bigger ones. Let's see, we would hook here and then it's all on this side. But the um, subsoiler we have which is three meters requires 120 horsepower but it's directly behind the, tr the tractor so it's a little easier for me to do like nice square things but a three meter yeah see a three and a half meter plow requires 220 horsepower two and a half meters 160 horsepower whereas our subsoiler at three meters is only 120 horsepower so it's easier for the tractor to pull and it's easier to get the edges nice and neat anything good in here nothing that we need yeah nothing we need unfortunately <laughs> Uh, let's see if there's any last words do, 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 do the best results are achieved with the subsoiler oh hey that's what we're going to use anyway but a plow will be sufficient as well after loosening the ground you can plant new stalks of sugarcane interesting this is very neat i like learning new things and i've never messed with the sugarcane so that's pretty cool yeah but that's all about sugarcane huzzah now we know and knowing is half the battle G.I. Joe. Um, yes. Okay, so that's it. I will maintain the farm for the next few months while that sugar cane grows. And like I said, I'll bring you back for harvest. And we'll figure out exactly how that works. I'm hoping the harvester can tow the trailer behind it and just work with one tractor. 
But we may end up needing to upgrade the tractor after all. Because this tractor was struggling with three quarters of a tank of milk. And it struggles with the other things. And it's got 27 hours on it already. Which is a decent bit for a tractor in game. So I think I'm going to keep selling as much of the silage as I can. We have a decent bit of hay, so I think I'll make sure that we have hay for, like, enough for one period of grass harvest. And then make everything into silage, sell off all the extra silage, and I think that'll help us make money quicker to be able to afford a new tractor and then the factories and all that. And, yep. Yeah. That'll, that's the plan. So I guess I will keep on with that. And I will see you in the next episode when we go to harvest everything. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I um, hope you've learned something. I've learned something. So there's that. And yeah, these didn't, didn't require rolling and don't seem to get weeds. So that's good. Or at least we didn't get weeds this time. I wonder if that subsoiler like a plow keeps you from getting weeds when you use it. Because I think the plows keep you from getting weeds. So if we harvest this and then it comes back up, I wonder if weeds will come up at that point. Anyway, you have a wonderful day. I will see you next time and we'll try to get ourselves a cake. We'll be getting, we're getting very close we're in the end game of the cake business right now. So, yes, stick in there. We'll get there. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.